Hey folks, Malforan here. Welcome back to the Rise of the Habsburg campaign in Crusader Kings 3. You join me today in uh, the HRE. We're still here as Austria expanding our realm quite a bit last uh, last episode. Well, in the last two episodes, in fact, we, we gained all of Upper Lorraine. We also gained this duchy down here through uh, some marriages we sorted out previously. And we're just working on this last county here, the county of Graz. For uh, this decision that we, we're going to try and do, form the Archduchy of Austria. But uh, that's the last county we need to, to have this requirement met. Then we need to get a strong hook on the Kaiser, and that is going to be a little bit harder. This last one is fine. We need to get high or absolute crown authority, which we can easily do um, in... Well, oh, wait, no, in <laughs> 20 years. Well, I guess our next character we can do it um, a lot sooner. I'm Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this timer resets when you die... I can't remember. If not, basically in 20 years we can do this, which is fine, because we've got 20 years to get a, a strong hook on the Kaiser at that point. I think the Kaiserin is quite old. I think she... Uh... Yeah, she's 59, so she is probably going to die soon. At the moment, it is Duke Bert of Bavaria, who is next in line. So, uh, yeah, we'd have to try to get a strong hook on him, if he's obviously still the ruler when we get around to it. But we'll see how that all works out. We're going to get time going. Our liege here is in a couple of wars. Which is fine, we're not going to help in any of them, I don't believe. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for this. Um, I think we have a truce with this guy, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, we don't. Wait, did he die? Oh, he did die. Duke Hardwin of Steimark. So we can take this last bit. Nice. Now he's got no troops. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll just do this. Because <laughs> then we own, like I said, we own the last requirement, the last land requirement for for the decision, and then we can form the archduchy. Uh, commander promoted. My marshal, Count Hendrik, has been showing off a promising new recruit. Uh, this guy. Oh no, he's Hendrik. Yeah, I can say he doesn't look promising. It looks like he <laughs> finds uh, food promising. He's gluttonous. What's this one at the end? Comfort Eater. Okay, that is why it's so big. This guy. Menger of Monheim. Yeah, okay, he's pretty good. 18 Marshal, 16 Prowess. Yes. He will come and join and become a knight. Which is very nice. Uh, yeah, we're not going to call in any allies. Um, we are in uh, first in line, our heir. Like I was saying in the last episode, our heir is going to inherit Corinthia from, uh, from his mother when she dies. And obviously when we die, he's going to inherit all our lands as well. So we're going to expand our realm even further when that happens. And we can reserve these two titles. We're not going to do that because we don't really want any more duchy titles at this point. We're going to lose some land when our vassals die. This isn't the end of the world. I think it's land way up here somewhere. Yeah, it is. And Metz, which is up here. So uh, not ideal, but not the end of the world. We, we own quite a lot of land that's kind of spread out. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're going to come down and, uh, and win this war easily. And uh, yeah, we're trying to get this claim over here. We're going to try push into Hungary as well. Kind of our medium term um, kind of goal is to take... Oh, we, can... <laughs> we just wiped his army. Um, our medium term goal is to basically take Hungary, bring it back into the HRE, and, uh, and see what we can do. Holland's doing quite well though for itself. It's expanded quite a bit up here. We'll have to keep an eye out on those. Looks like they are finding each other again. Scheme of courts. Uh, do we want to let the trader be known? Uh, throw him in jail. Oh, Capage. Trying to kill our court physician. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to let the trader be known. <laughs> He's from the house of Capage. And she's our court physician. She's married to, I think, one of our knights or something like that. If I remember correctly. We can change Count Ottaker's contract. We're not going to do that. There's nothing I really want to do. And we're not going to imprison him either. Oh, our liege lost his war with France. Or oh, her war, yeah. So he, t well, yeah, he took from her this duchy up here, which they were fighting over. And they are currently in these other wars. Uh, just one for a county up in the north. And then Dijon War for the County of Parma. Yeah, Lombardy here is attacking them as well. So uh, quite a lot going on for our uh, liege. To my liege, it has come to my attention that your Bishop Ludolf has been working to fabricate a spurious claim on the County of Edgar. Now we are... Uh, what's... Is this because... Is this our trait? 
Yeah, because we're arrogant, we're just saying, like, shut up. <laughs> you just say, shut up. <laughs> we're we doing what we want. Who are you to come and tell us we shouldn't be doing that? I mean, it is your land. So, uh, still. Oh, she's getting attacked again? She's getting attacked by East Franconia? What war is this? Artifact Claymore. Oh, okay, who cares? <laughs> Who cares about artifact claim wars? The most pointless war in the game. Anyway, have we finished sieging this down yet? Almost. We captured a steward as well. So we'll uh, we'll ransom him off afterwards if we can. And there we go. A nice easy uh, victory. We're gonna have to give away some land. So we can't. We're at five out of four. That's because currently our wife is the uh, the Duchess of Corinthia, so she can't give us stats for, for helping us out. So uh, it is a little annoying that uh, we're going to have to give away some more land, but we're going to give it away to the guy over here because he is uh, he's doing quite well for us. So he can have burn our old capital. And we're going to keep our land in the east or, uh, for the future. And he will ransom me off. Ten gold. Well, Joe will do it. We're going to stop. We're going to ask the Pope for this money. Because we want to stockpile gold now, so we can try being around about a thousand for the uh, for that decision. We need about a thousand gold. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so we finish August. Do you want to do embassies? Groom to rule. Children receive one. To John, we might as well do this. We're probably going to die soon, so we might as well give our children some some bonus skill points now before we die. So there we go. Is a lot of children getting modifiers. Uh, Maria got plus two stewardship. Shahilda got plus one learning. Otto got plus one stewardship. And Sophie got plus two uh, diplomacy. So our heir here got one. So he, he, he didn't look out with the dice roll, but he didn't do too bad. He's got 12 stewardship. So when we play this him, we're probably going to try expand our, our uh, buildings and stuff like that a little bit. Faction. Oh, an independence faction against the Kaiser. Uh, Lotharingia. They might win this because she hasn't got a... Yeah, she's losing all these wars. There's a chance she could win this. Oh, she will. She's got 6,000 troops. Uh, this is Angria, our ally to the north. He wants us to come and help in an attack on Numburg. I mean, we'll say yes because we, we are allied to them. But we're probably not going to go home <laughs> if we're honest. Um, which, you know, it's close. We could do. We might get some prisoners, I suppose. George, we'll, we'll be we'll be nice allies. We'll actually go and help. Well, we'll see. He's got a lot of troops. Actually, no, he's got 6,000. We're fine. They should probably beat each other. Uh, I'm not going to say yes to this, because I want more than a county from that, uh, from that outcome, if possible. Actually, he's saying that. What are Poland and Bohemia fighting over? The Duchy of Nitria? Oh, this whole duchy here? That's quite a, quite a nice duchy, to be fair. Looks like Poland are going to win this. Oh, actually, dude, I guess it's Bohemia attacking them. Yes, so um, Bohemia's trying to get this back, and then their land will be uh, connected once again. Uh, where are we? There we are. So, yeah, we'll siege this down, and we'll just keep an eye on them up here. We obviously don't want to fight this stack. We'll see if they actually unify and come and attack, and they probably won't. Well, if they come anywhere down here, we're going to have to run away. No, no, well, they're heading north again. Yep, okay, well, we'll, we'll carry on sieging this down. I don't know if this is the leader. No, he's just one of his allies here. Nordgal. So we might be able to knock him out the wall, who knows. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. And then, yeah, during the rest of today's episode, I think we'll probably die we are 53 we're in firm now we got that at the end of the last episode so i'm not sure we're gonna be here too much longer like i say not the end of the world we've only got one son so he will inherit everything and then when our wife dies he'll inherit all of her stuff as well so it's gonna be a quite sizable realm at that point we've got two events helpful warning i received a missive from the duke of benoit of Angria, the guy we just helped well we're helping in this war it claims that countess adelheid my vassal has requested support in a plot against me Oh dear. There's nothing I value more than loyalty. 
his letter read. Hence why I share this with you. I will confront her in person. I certainly will. And then some random... <laughs> some other random secret that we don't really care about. An insulting accusation. When I present Duke Benoit's letter to the Countess, it is first met with confusion, then anger. You believe his word over mine? Have I not always been a loyal servant? No, you got minus 33. You hate me. Yes, because oh, because we've got the lovers' pox and we're rakish, and we're ambitious. Oh no, they're ambitious, and um, she's a title claimant. Oh, we're a title claimant on her. Oh, she's a title claimant on us. And I fuck up all the rain. So yeah, I don't. Th I think you were behind it. Her indignation plants a seed down my mind. Perhaps I acted too quickly. I should make amends. Well, no, because we're um, we're arrogant, so we're not going to back down. Yes, in fact, I wish to reward you for your loyalty. Oh, wait, no, we do reward her. Why are the only two options good options? Not one of these... <laughs> one of these would be bad, I would have thought. Oh, well. She's actually going to get her taxes reduced. Um, okay. But one of them would have been a bad option for her. Oh, so where's actually under siege? She's actually fighting somebody else at the same time. Uh, your liege lost her war. With Duke Camille, which is funny because he was in prison at the same time. Seashells. I was taking a walk by the seashore. Now, let me think, guys. I was taking a walk by the seashore. The seashore. Oh, well, no, we do have a seashore down. Oh, no. Yeah, we have a tiny bit here. We must be down here in Adria. It's the only place we have with a, with a sea line. Uh, this, with a... Um, seashore even uh, no longer than one of my fingers i picked it up and with the light examined it its exquisite curves and intricate patterns nature is truly wondrous we just got a small seashell gives us like a super tiny uh reward oh wait we get a modifier because we're arrogant <laughs> how is it arrogant to bring it home <laughs> okay i guess we'll just say it's nice but it's just a seashell i'm not sure how being arrogant makes you uh Maybe not want to bring a seashell home, but I guess I guess you do. I guess that's how it works. Lost child. I'm out and about in a nearby town with Ludolf. When we come across a little child's sovereign. Alarmed, he and I glance around, but there seems to be no sign of the child's parents or guardians nearby. Poor thing, he says. We need to find the parents of the little one, or else who knows if there are any miscreants who might take advantage of this child. If you're so worried, you go and look for them. <laughs> I agree. Let's work together to find this child's parents, or it's just a peasant child. We we don't have time to babysit. So he's our bishop, so we don't want to upset him. We're shy, trusting, arrogant. I guess we are trusting, though. So you know, let's say we'll let's see we'll we'll go help. Why not? I'm not convinced it's exactly what we do, but let's do it anyway. Oh, we've had this event. Oh, it's her again. She's a troublemaker. She's uh, she's causing trouble for us in court, basically. And we're shy, so all of these events are bad for us. I'm going to get 10 dread. I'm going to threaten her, <laughs> basically. I'm going to threaten her and say, uh, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. We're arrogant. We want. Oh, it's weird because we're shy and arrogant. But I think our arrogance would come over uh, more of that uh, in that uh, event. It has become clear that your bishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim. I love the fact that this two-year-old is telling us off. But there is a basis for a claim. It certainly is. <laughs> is he leading... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, it is him, yeah. He's a rel religious gambler. <laughs> a two-year-old. How has he got the lover's pox? He's two years old. But I don't think I want to look into that anymore. <laughs> We'll just back away slowly from from uh, Bohemia. It's a silly place anyway. Anyway, we'll we'll keep sieging stuff down over here because we're gonna keep getting prisoners. One of the one or two of them might be worth uh, stealing. He's pretty good. Thirteen learning, fourteen stewardship. Can we recruit you? Yeah, come on, friends. Uh, you're really old. You're sixty-five and nearly dead. So. Um, you can just go away. We're going to demand your conversion. Oh, we can't. I was going to say, on a deathbed, I was going to try and make a convert, but isn't happening. And Gazila, 
28. Got 13 deployed. Job. We'll um, we'll recruit you as well. Why not? Get some more people in our court. And then what we'll do is we'll marry her matrilineally to um, I don't know someone with high martial skill. Yeah, this guy. There we go. So he's married her. That means he'll stay in our court. And he's got... His prowess isn't that good, but he's got 22 marshals, so... Who knows? Maybe they'll have children who have good marshal. Stranger things have happened. And then, yeah, our ally up here is uh, sieging down some more land up here. We'll probably siege this then just go home. Just because we are losing money from having our armies raised. So we'll, uh, we'll finish this and then head off back. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep an eye on what happens with our... Uh, with the Kaiserin, if she gets into any more trouble. But uh, we'll see. Oh, greetings, my implacable vassal. You've been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. I wish going to make us the Chancellor of the HRE. Interesting. So for this, we get three prestige a month, which is quite a nice bonus. Fellow vassal opinion plus 20, which is really good. And uh, diplomacy and lifestyle experience plus 20. So yeah, this is really helpful. A slippery slope. Pa! shouts Maria directly into my ear. That rhymes. Uh, my my eyes open reluctantly one at a time. That's one way to wake me up, I suppose. The small child next to my bed is positively vibrating with excitement, clutching mittens and an expensive wooden platter. It's snowing outside, and I want to go sledding. Will you take me? Uh, do we want to lose stress? We are right at the cusp of being stressed again, so I'm going to say... Sorry, I'm resting. <laughs> oh, we're going to ask the Pope for some more money as well. It's a new Pope. The, gas the last guy died. So we're at 5.30. So we're going to get an alliance with him. Why not? My skilled vassal. My vassal. Prince Bishop Engelbert has proven himself highly capable, especially in academic matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the Bishopric of Koblenz, my liege. With your blessing, of course. Dirty learning? Why isn't he young? Our uh, bishop. Should be. Take the reins. I'm going to let him do it. He's going to buff his, his uh, county, basically. Have we finished that siege? I think we have. Yeah, we have. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come home now. I think that's quite enough for that. We've got three power vassals not on the council, so we'll have to have a look at this, because that's way too many to not have on here. Oh, he's actually our... Uh, Chancellor. Yeah, these are going to have to go in in their place, to be honest. Yeah, you're a powerful vassal. You're actually the same ring as him, so that's fine. And then Tagio, you're going to be replaced by... Oh, she hates us. Although she'll probably like us when she's on the council. No, she wouldn't. <laughs> Do it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's our cousin... I'll be honest, even if she kills us, it's not the end of the world. We're, we're getting pretty old now, so... Oh! Well, <laughs> there you go, I guess. Uh, Duke Erhard of Austria has left the world at 54 years of age. He died of natural causes, or was it the Spymaster? A hallowed shell of his former self, he's long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. That's because we were infirm at the end. So there we go, we're going to play as Duke Otto here. I can't believe the timing there, literally as soon as I unpaused. And uh, yeah, he's steward focused. We're going to go... and The monthly income's okay. I think this early in the game, it's not actually worth taking. I'm probably going to take uh, domain focus. Yeah, we'll just get way more stewardship. going to help us have more and more lands. And he went down avaricious, so we can sell hooks. We can get more gold from our vassals. We can get more gold when we're at war. And army maintenance is cheaper per dread. You know, these aren't the best choices, but it is what he chose, so that's what we're going to leave it as. We'll probably come down Architect when, when we get a, a choice, because I think we'll start building some buildings on our own. And uh, yeah, there we go. This is our wife, Duchess Halloweva. And this is our only son, Gerhard III, I think he'll be when he takes over. Let's see if we can get a decent alliance. Brittany, I mean, that's not too bad. Actually, has anyone got any decent uh, modifiers? 
I'm probably more interested in getting a decent modifier than trying to get weird claims on land. Although at the same time, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. What's your modifier? Quick. No, that's not good enough. I know I could change the search, but uh, I'm not going <laughs> to for, for reasons. Uh, let's have a look. Probably should, though. Probably a lot easier to do that. Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 traits, inheritable. There oh, is this Herculean? Amazonian. Yes. <laughs> they have no claims. How old, how old is he? Seven years old. I'm going to marry her because she's got uh, Amazonian, so that'd be Herculean if it was male. It's such a good prowess and health boost, uh, health boost that um, if you've ever watched any of my campaigns, you'll know I love taking that one. I probably should take something else that's a bit more useful, though, I guess. Like, um, one of these ones. Genius. Oh, they're too old. They'll be too old by the time he's old enough to uh, to have children. Oh, how old are you? Three? Genius? Italian? You'll do. I'll be sensible. We'll, we'll pick this one. There we go. And our council, we literally just sorted out the council on our last character, but uh, I guess we're doing it again. And you, wait, is this... Oh no, I've met. That's fine. I uh, guess he's still trying to get that claim over here. That's fine. He's still building up our development in Vienne. Which is currently 14. And we need to increase our control. Do you know, we will do down here in like Graz or something like that. These lands that we own in the in the south. Well, there we go. We're, we're playing as, uh, as Duke Otto now. Interesting. Right, what else do we need to do then? Sign a guardian for our son. He is focused on Marshall. Not what I was going for, but again, we'll, uh, we'll leave him be. Yaroslav here can teach him. Uh, we don't care about, about this. You're next in line. Oh, look at all these other ones. Duchy of Swabia. <laughs> we've got so many random bits of land where uh, we're, we're in, we've been in line to inherit so far in this campaign. The Prince Archbishopric of Salzburg? Wait, what? Is that just a... Is that a duchy? Oh, it is, yes. I'm not going to use these. Again, I'm trying to save the money, to be honest, until we can uh, do this. We need to go to Illustrious, which shouldn't be too difficult for us. Especially as we're not that old. We're 27. Um, the, the hook is the is the harder one. And then, Oh, we can actually do this now if we wanted to. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to risk us having like a rebellion right before we want to make that decision. So we're going to leave this at two and then we can just up it to three. Once we meet all the other requirements, we can just do that straight away. So um, yeah, we'll work on getting the hook on the um, Empress, I guess. And uh, yeah, what are our traits? Our traits are callous, content and humble. Interesting combination. It does mean that we can actually pay homage this time around because we're not shy. So we'll pay homage to the Kaiser. Uh, give her a hook. Give her some gold. Do we want to do that? What does this give us? Bit five gold. Do you know what? I'll do this because I'm not actually sure. I think it gives us more modifier, I guess. The price of fealty. So we gain 50 renown for our dynasty. Oh, yeah, she gets 20 opinion of us. We gain 150 prestige as well. So there we go. Too many counties. Wait. We don't have... Oh, yeah, no, this is the modifier about the fact we're a duke and we, we shouldn't have this much land, but there's nothing we can do about that, to be honest. Host a feast, call a hunt, petition liege. Let's have a look. Can we petition for anything useful? Transfer claim, bestow a claim title of vassal. This is where I think we can ask for some land from another vassal. Send bailiffs... Oh, that's interesting. She can increase the control we have on our county. Which that's kind of tempting to do, to be honest. Let's try that one. I'm escorted to the Kaiser's throne room where she beckons me to approach and address her. I like this guy in the background just not just shaking his head at us. I carefully describe the problems my fiefdom faces. Restraint. Uh, re 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 resistant to my authority and beset by Vengamons. And resist assistance in restoring order. I almost made that sentence fully. Uh, after listening to the speech, she smiles warmly at me and says, Absolutely, Vassal. I'll dispatch my agents immediately. 
Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna gain 10. It's gonna give us 10 control. We're gonna get Royal Bailiffs for five years, which also increases uh, control for five years. Increase control of county will progress faster and counters with this modifier. And we get some more renown. Um, which county? Does it tell us which one she went to? Oh, I guess all of them? <laughs> I'm not sure. Can we see? In fact, if we look at... Can we see the modifier? No. Uh, no. Um, do I can't actually see the modifier in the list. Maybe it's from other modifiers, control growth modifiers, maybe. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're gonna stay doing this one. So, if it helps us, it does. If it doesn't, interesting. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, well, Joe, you know, we're not going to reach the thousand gold straight away, so I'm going to upgrade one of these, make us some more money. It's going to give us some more tax and give us 1% more tax from the holdings here anyway. So we'll do that. Give ourselves a little bit more money. In the, in the long run, obviously we can upgrade it further and further in the future. We've got a dangerous faction. We've got a few factions, actually. Countess Ricardo of Nancy wants our Uplaranian throne. And this guy wants the Austrian throne, and this guy wants the Austrian throne, and they want that Liberty faction. So as I was saying before, we um, will probably want to fight this one off if we can. In fact, can we change this to domestic affairs? That should make people like us a little bit more. And then what we'll also do is try sway some of these guys. There we go. Can we send you a... Actually, are you just in both of these? Oh no, it's a different person. Can we send you a gift? 100 gold? I'm not sending you 100 gold. <laughs> oh, he's trying to put himself into the Duchy of Austria. Well, that's no good. Oh, and he's trying to... Yeah, and again, he's trying to push himself onto it. We don't actually mind if he... Um, that second one, if he actually pushes the claim, that's fine. Because then we can revoke his lands within our Duchy. Take them for ourselves, so... It's not the end of the world, to be honest, if uh, if that does happen. Do on, let's call a feast as well. I know we're burning through some of our money, but this will make people like us a little bit more. And there we go, our uh, our ally up there won that war. We helped him. So what did we get? We got... Uh, 17 prestige. Well worth it. Well worth it. 89% score. And we got 17 prestige for doing that. I suppose um, it probably from our last character would have got more, but uh, obviously we died in the meantime. And uh, he he does like us though, although not so much. Wait, it's him, is it? Opinion with Duke Benoit of Angria. Oh no, that's the guy he beat. Yeah, that's the guy he, he defeated. So yeah, he loves us now. A cheery gathering. Welcome, friends. Amal Burgers Falry. Servants were carrying out impressive adorned entrements. A couple of proud peacocks, skinned, cooked, and stuffed, then redressed in their magnificent plumages. However, as the Countess brought her knife close to one of them, the fowl came up with a shriek. This one wasn't cooked at all. <laughs> how, how, how'd that happen? It pecked her nose before bursting forth among and screaming bursting forth among the screaming and laughing guests. As the bird ran wild, Countess Ricara rose to the challenge. It proved great entertainment to see her desperately chase the raving creature across tables. In the end, she managed to scare the peacock towards the great hall doors, where it escaped into the night. Ah, no feast is complete without a prank. Okay, so I'm pranked her. That, that makes more sense. I'd be worried if they didn't realise one of the birds was alive, to be honest. But it was all a prank. Who doesn't like that? There we go. Feast has ended. So we're getting a little bit of prestige. Like I said, people should like us that a little bit more. They're not large enough to spawn any of these. And even if they do, we'd probably win them anyway. And yeah, the Kaiserin, she is... Oh, the other war ended. So there was that independence war by Lombardy. Oh no, Lothringia. Oh no, no, Lothringia won it. Cause they're now independent. So yeah, never mind. Ignore what I say. I can't read a map well. Right, what else have we got to do? We don't want to do this. We can declare some more wars. We, we probably will do that soon. 
And then, yeah, we're next in line for Corinthia, which, as soon as our mother dies, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll inherit all of this as well. <laughs> do we inherit all this land over here? I don't think we do. No, I think we just inherit the duchy itself. Well, we'll find out before too long, I think. She's she's not that young, to be honest. And, um, yeah, I don't know what to do next. I guess, like I said, we might go after Bohemia. They've got a lot of troops, though. Uh, yeah, we'll pay him gold to leave us alone. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we might not actually do that. We might keep expanding in uh, in the Hichori itself. Where should we? Uh, where should we do that? Yeah, we'll do, we'll we'll ignore um, Bohemia for now. I think that's a bit crazy. We'll keep going after Salzburg instead. Yeah, we'll keep taking a little bit of Salzburg. Keep expanding internally. And then once Bohemia splits up or something else happens to them, we'll, uh, we'll attack them then, I think. is probably the best way of doing it. To be honest, we'll, we'll see them. And then, uh, yeah, we could try form a kingdom. We could try form Bavaria. We have to own so much more land, though, to form it, that uh, I think we will just keep trying to do this um, Archduchy of Austria decision instead. I think this makes way more sense. Although it is harder for us to get. Although it's not too hard. So it's just getting a strong hook. What we might have to do is... Uh, we might have to go into Intrigue on our character. It's got 9 Intrigue. We, we might have to change to Intrigue. And then is it Truth is Relative? Fabricate a hook. We could do this. If we meet the other requirements... We might pick up one point in Schema and then basically just try and make up a hook on her. It's probably going to be the easiest way. Anyway, Liberty Desire. Uh, Liberty Faction, even, was what I meant to say. Right, who would join this? Anyone that we can steal their land from? Yeah, this guy. Ottokar of Linz. We can steal Linz. That is part of our home duchy. Oh, no, it isn't. It's part of uh, Salzburg. Hmm. Do we want to do this? Do we want to fight them? Yes, yes. I will not be threatened. How dare you? <laughs> how how dare you do that? I mean, we can still take this and then keep it for ourselves anyway, so let's just do it. Who's leading the rebellion? Uh, this guy up here. So yeah, it's a bit annoying the rest of the rebels are up here, but we can, we can deal with that easily enough. This is a marriage of our sister Maria with... Barak of Bajmok. No idea what that is, but you go do that. And then we'll siege all this down and see how it goes. We should be able to do that. I think that might knock him out of this war. Compassionate Discord. Moved by my tribulations, Countess Rakar has offered me her counsel and aid in many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. Um, you get a weak, oh, we get a weak hook on her. Well, that would stop her being able to rebel against us. So let's do that. I think I think a favor hook knocks them out from being able to join factions. We'll, we'll call in this ally. Does he have... Oh, no, he has 73 troops. Never mind. <laughs> we, we, we won't do that. We could call in him. He has 800 troops. Do you know what? We won't do just yet. Well, actually, we can get payment for that. 31 gold. Interesting. We won't do that. Though. We'll keep it for now. Negotiate an alliance with Bezgau. I don't really want to do that. Your aunt... Hmm, do we want to do that? Why not? Why not? It's some extra troops. Oh, our mother has replaced us as of head of the dynasty. I didn't realise we were head of the dynasty before, so interesting. Uh, the scandal, my aunt, Countess Sophie, has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, Duke Wilhelm, as the father of a child. Now it has come clear that the real father is no other than Duke Emic. Oh my. What a scandal. Now everybody knows. 
Well, there you go. Scandals at court. All right, we're going to siege this down, and then we're going to probably run after this army here. Uh, mm, yes. Yeah, we'll siege this down, because he might leave this rebellion then. And it looks like this is their entire army. So actually, I am going to call in... Are you in any of the wars? No, I'm going to call you into this war, because... Sure, we might as well. It's free, isn't it? We're the defender, so we might as well call them in. Yeah, I forgot. If we're a defender, it literally costs us nothing, so we might as well. Because just those few extra troops are going to help us fight these guys off without any risk to ourselves. I mean, we can go and see what it thinks. Yeah, yeah it thinks we might lose, so... <laughs> too late. It's too late. Now, there we go. Oh, our wife is uh, having a child. Nice. So, yeah, we'll, we'll remove this siege. And then hopefully one of our allies here comes and join us. And then we can defeat their army, and then we can head up north and just siege down. Oh, they're going to attack us anyway. We probably should move. I'm just going to stay here. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, we are, we are going to lose. Probably shouldn't have just stayed here. <laughs> probably should have just run away. Oh, yes, look at his commander. 35? Okay, yeah, that's fine. I mean, they got the fort bonus as well, I suppose, because we were stood on their fort. We got uh, communal government. Nice. Which lets us have up to 35 development. Uh, what became our exposure? Arch saddle? We'll, we'll do this, because we'll get it in five years. Kaiser De Depolt has become your new liege. So there we go. He's the uh, he's the new Kaiser. So he's the guy we're going to have to try get a hook on in the future. We'll see whether he puts us on the council, I suppose. We'll pay homage to him. Why not? Um, I'm not going to give him anything, though. I've got no respect. <laughs> I've got no respect for him. How many troops we got here? Um, close. Sure, we'll we'll stay in our capital and build up our uh, our army a little bit. Actually, do you know what? Looking at how long the episode's been going on today, we'll finish this war off in the next episode because it might go on for a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. And I want to try to keep these episodes around about half an hour to forty five minutes. I think that works quite well for the series so far. So, uh, yeah, the next episode we'll finish off this war. Uh, we've got our allies coming here. We'll also obviously this army will. Uh, resupply and uh, get back to its full size before too long. In fact, before I forget, let's set you to this one, reinforcement rate. Yep, there we go. That'll make it even faster. And then we can fight them off. We can do that. And then in the next episode, we'll, uh, well, potentially inherit Corinthia. Uh, but what we'll also try and do is get that claim, uh, get that strong hook on the Kaiser. He's 33 years old, so he's probably going to be here for a while, so we might as well try and do that. He has got 15 intrigue, which isn't good for us. But, um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Uh, we'll, we'll probably take that one point in intrigue. After we've done this, we'll take um, one of these architect ones, I think. And then we'll uh, we'll get one point in truth is relative, and then we'll go back. Now, the funny thing is we can use that later on. Because we can also just make hooks on people, anyone that we want. And then with Golden Obligations, sell those hooks for money. So you can basically just farm money, take these two choices. You can make up hooks, and then you can just sell them. So yeah, it'd be quite a good way for us to make a bunch of money, to be honest, to pay for the Archduchy. So um, it's not the end of the world, the choices we got. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that works out for us. Apart from that, we'll take a quick look around the world. Not a lot going on, a lot of fragmentation over here. France still pushing down into into Spain. Is that the HRE? Oh yes, because he was the um, was he the king of Leon or was his son? Somebody was. That's why it's part of Leon. Leon is part of the HRE now. And then uh, yeah, not a lot else going on that's too crazy. So we'll we'll leave it there for today. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, if you hit the like button, it helps other people find the series as well. And if you're new here, this is your first video. If you subscribe to the channel, I do strategy gaming, Crusader Kings, and some other strategy forex titles as well. But uh, we'll leave it there for today. I'll see you in the next one.